Hi, it's Jason from Feature Radiators. So today, we're gonna to take a look at radiators for ground source and air source heat pumps. Now, radiators to choose and sizes are often a gray area. I'm not gonna go into massive technical detail, but sort of give you the basics of how it works, so hopefully the video will help you. So, with those types of system, the temperature of the water going into a radiator will be lower than a conventional boiler. So let's say you've got a conventional boiler providing a temperature of 75 degrees C in your radiator. Uh, these will run at more like 45 degrees C. Uh, with radiators, you know, the hotter the water going into the radiator, the more heat output that radiator provides. So if you've got a lower water temperature going in, you get less of a heat output. So what you need to do with a system is increase the size of the radiator. So you, you'll have a bigger radiator uh, than you would otherwise need on a conventional boiler, if that makes sense. Uh, we can certainly help with your sizing requirements, so we would just need to know the flow and return temperatures of your system and the heat output requirements of your room. If you do need help with that as well, we can also help, all right. Uh, because the radiators do need to be bigger, you need to think about the spaces you've got available in the rooms as well. So with modern houses, because They've got a lot of insulation in them. The heat retention is very, very good. The glazing is very, very good. They sort of lend themselves a little bit better to that type of system. Uh, whereas an older property might have some insulation. It might not have any insulation. Uh, it might have single glazing, so that might make a difference. Uh, we've specified lots of different types of radiator for these systems and very successfully so as well. So we can always help with technical information that might be required. Or we're quite happy to speak to your heat pump company direct if it helps you as well. So we're going to take a look at some options for you now. Um, so aluminium is a good option because it's got a very, very low water content, content uh, compared to most radiators. So the rapid reaction time really helps with that type of system. This is the Alchemy. As you can see, it comes in tall and short versions. It's sectional in nature, so you can increase or decrease the radiator sizes very easily and comes in a great range of colours for good heat output. That's another example of an aluminium radiator. This is the retro, but a bit more of a sort of traditional look as well. If you want a radiator made of a different material type on maybe a bit more of a traditional look, we've got the core. So as you can see, the core radiators come in both tall and short versions. Um, they also come in different depths. So that's a two columns deep, you've got a three deep, four deep, that's a six column deep and that helps as well because you can really maximise the heat output in those tighter spaces. Now you might want a radiator that's got a very traditional look like more like cast iron, uh, the Calio is a fantastic option for that. Now this is actually made of aluminium so again you've got that rapid reaction time and also it's a lot lighter to work with than cast iron. If you're wanting a bit more of a modern look, the Cirque or the Q-Tube are great options. So that's a Cirque, that's a Q-Tube, and this is a horizontal version of the Cirque. Now, these have got a special shaped tube, which basically increases the surface area of your radiator, which in turn increases the how output as well. Now, if you want a bit more of a simplistic design, okay, the Pablo's a very, very good option, which I'll show you around here. So these come in single versions, but they also come in a double panel, double convector version as well, so you can really get a lot of heat output in tight spaces. They come in tall versions, they come in short versions, again a great range of colours, so it's a good option for you. I hope the video's helped. If you need any more help, you can call us, you can email us, you can use online chat, you can use the comment section below, or you could come into the showroom, come and see the products and see us face to face, we're happy to help you. Cheers.